This is Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Domino's Pizza. It's the Friday edition. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley, joined by the great Greg Hansen. <laughs> Greg, happy Friday to you. Uh, the, the nets have been cut down. The confetti has been swept up from Jerry Jones's billion-dollar monstrosity. Yeah. Uh, Arizona is home. The basketball season is officially over. And, Greg, the offseason gives us a chance to talk about a lot of things. Uh, between that are going to happen between now mm -hmm. and the next year. Uh, one of those, Greg, is obviously is uh, the Pac-12 and the Pac-12 networks. Um, I know that there hasn't been much uh, progress in their negotiations with DirecTV, but DirecTV did make some moves this week. Tell me about it. You know, they had been at a stalemate with, of all things, the Weather Channel. <laughs> <coughs> so DirecTV withdrew the Weather Channel from their network, uh -huh. and they had three months of negotiations. And it was all for one cent per subscriber. So it gives you an idea of what the Pac-12 must be go going through with DirecTV. Mm -hmm. If they squabble that much on the Weather Channel. The Weather Channel. Pretty formidable. Yeah. For one cent per subscriber. Wow. If you look at what sort of monsters like ESPN pay, Greg, do you know off the top of your head what DirecTV gets from each ESPN subscriber? ESPN, $5.54 wow. a month. Wow. Wow. A fair price for the Pac-12 network then would have to be south of a dollar, don't you think? It, yeah, I looked at the list of like the top ten, mm -hmm. and it get, got down to about a dollar ten. Okay. Um, for like the Big Ten network, yeah. those kinds. No, I mean just for like TBS, TNT, oh, and okay. whatnot. Oh no. So you figure the, the Pac-12 network is probably getting four cents per subscriber. Wow, that's interesting. And you look at—it's so funny. The fragmenting of television rights now in college sports. I mean, uh, you have Dish Network. I just got Dish Network myself. You flip through there and you're like, SEC Network. New. New. You know, uh, <laughs> you know, Big Ten Network, which is out there. Longhorn Network, which is out there. You know, the L.A. Lakers in basketball have their own yeah. channel. The L.A. Dodgers have their own channel. Is Are we reaching a point, Greg, where there's sort of too many different channels and not enough sports? <laughs> You know, my answer to that is mm -hmm. my school, Utah State, little old Utah State, mm -hmm. yeah. a Mormon community up in the mountains, this week agreed to play on an SEC network against Tennessee in their opener next year on a Sunday. Can't which do that. is unprecedented <laughs> that a Utah State or a Utah school would play on a Sunday. Wow. So that's how much an SEC network with the money involved is calling the shots. Mm -hmm. It's so interesting to me that, you know, we talk about even sort of the smaller conferences. Mountain West is is fairly yeah, mid-major, probably the West premier mid-major. The West Coast Conference, Greg, if you could name more than six teams in the West Coast Conference, right. and I'll yeah. give you some points. I mean, the USD, St. Mary's, San Francisco, Portland, uh, BYU and basketball. They have their own network, but it's online only. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, you know why you don't know that? Because nobody knows <laughs> it. Because who watches? But at some point, it must make financial sense for a league to take ownership of its own television rights rather than selling it off to Fox and ESPN. Yeah. Wow. Well, does this make financial sense? WCC basketball coach at Gonzaga, mm -hmm. Kelly Graves, this mm -hmm. week signed to be the new coach at Oregon. Mm -hmm. You know how much they're paying him? Mm -hmm. 525000 per year. Women's, Women's basketball at Oregon. Plus incentives, so it could get, and I read it could be as much as seven hundred thousand a year if the Ducks get to the NCAA tournament. Oh, and Kelly Graves replaces a coach and Paul Westhead, right. who won an NBA championship coaching the Lakers. Money, man, it makes people do things, oh, doesn't oh, it? Wow. <laughs> this In is that league. oh, this is Greg Hansen's video notebook, brought to you by Domino's Pizza. Greg Hansen here with Ryan Finley. Greg, there's been some coaching changes. Um, already in the Pac-12, uh, Ernie Kent was hired at Washington State. You know, we talked uh, a few weeks ago, and we both kind of agreed, ah, there's no way that was going to happen, and then it happened. It happened. Oh, is it as simple as they could pay Ernie Kent what Ernie Kent wants, <clears throat> or is it a man knowing that he's not going to get too many more chances at a big-time job? That was a strange one. I, I wouldn't have hired Ernie Kent myself because he, I think he's, he's 60 now. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has the energy to leave, fly out of in and out of Pullman, yeah. you know, as much as you have to to, to stay right. current. Right. Um, I, I think Cal's going to hire Joe Pasternak, the U of A as, assistant coach. Wow. Um, and if he's the best guy they can find, I'm not saying that's good or bad. Mm -hmm. If Joe Pasternak's the best guy Cal can find, that's good for Arizona. Yeah. Well, it's good for Washington State. Washington State would have hired oh, yeah. at least a guy with, with some sort of a name. You know, we talk about Washington State and recruiting in basketball. It reminds me of a story we've talked about on the road before of uh, George Raveling when he coached at Wazoo. <laughs> uh, had a van with the windows blacked out and uh, would drive from Spokane to Pullman uh, so the kids who he was flying <laughs> in from, uh, from the cities especially didn't see the desolation yep. on the Palouse during the basketball season. That's, that's an ugly place between December and March, yeah. isn't it? And Raveling was so, so funny. I remember he would say, 
And that was when you could play movies in cars for yeah. the first time. Right. So they would get the best movies possible and play them once you got out of the Spokane Airport mm -hmm. all the way to Pullman, mm -hmm. and the kids never looked out the window. <laughs> a quick story before we let you guys go. My dad was a sports writer in San Diego when I was growing up, and one day he was driving to a game at the old San Diego Sports Arena. He sees a guy on the side of the road with a busted tire on Interstate 8, and it's George Rattling. No way. <laughs> Pulls over, helps him, does whatever. Rattling says, forget the car, gets in. My dad takes him all the way to the sports arena. And so we'd see him periodically. The man, George Raveling, I will give him this, never forgot that story, yep. never forgets a face, and is a guy who, as recently as a decade ago, had turned himself from a basketball coach to a Nike ambassador yep. to a pretty good color analyst. And in addition to all that, he has the original script of Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech <laughs> at the Washington, D.C. Mall. I, hoped, I, I was hoping you'd bring that up. That's why I brought up George Raveling all together. <laughs> Explain real quick to the folks how George Raveling ended up with that. He was about a 20-year-old college kid at the time, he he signed up to be a volunteer, and it mm -hmm. was near the stage. Mm -hmm. And when it was over, you know, he's a, he's an outward guy. Yeah. He went up to to Martin Luther King's top associate mm -hmm. and said, can I have that? And the guy gave it to him. Wow. Here it is 50 years later, he's got it. And he could sell that thing for $10 million oh, if oh, he wanted. more than that, a bit more. Wow, that's incredible. All right, we're going to stop there. For Greg Hansen, I'm Ryan Finley saying, if you don't read his Sunday notebook, you miss out on tidbits like this, people. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next week. At Domino's, we're slowing down to make our handmade pan pizza the right way, taking our time to hand press the fresh dough into the pan, adding two layers of cheese, and slowing our ovens down to get the crust golden and crispy. So try a Domino's handmade pan pizza with two toppings for just $7.99.